Okay, so purpose of this tutorial is to discuss the basic process of animating in Mandelbulb 3D. After you've set found frac uh, formulas and lights that you think go well together, then you're gonna you can pop open this. Here, let's close up everything extra. You can pop open the navigator window, and in here, first thing you want to do is to open up these two panels to the top and bottom. That'll give you a few extra commands. So the basic process that I go through when I'm animating is to save animation keyframes. Then these controls right here are used to navigate through the keyframe or through the uh, navigator. They're gonna change, change your camera view. And then these over here change the values of your formulas. You can scroll through the formulas that you selected right here and then change these. If you scroll, you'll get all the attributes. So you start off, you have something you like, add an animation keyframe either by hitting the F key or by clicking this button. Then move the camera or morph your, or morph your uh, composition by using this. Then add another animation keyframe. And just keep doing that until you have a couple. You wanna keep into mind that if you move different distances and keep the same number of frames in between the keyframes, then you're gonna change speed. There are obviously a lot more uh, attributes that you can change in this window, but that starts to get the basic idea down. So once you've added a few keyframes, which you can also check over here in the animation window, this is from the earlier project I was working on, but it's still up. So each keyframe I add sits here. And then this is the number of keyframes in between. So it's gonna do, start with this and then 60 frames, it's gonna morph to, the, to this second one. And the reason at the end that I have this 360 is because I took me 360 frames to get here and I turned on this loop animation, which then I, will take me back to the original keyframe. But I want it, I don't want it to go so fast in 60 frames, so I used the same number of frames as it took me to get there. Not necessarily how you have to do it, but that's how I did it. So once you've done that, then you're gonna click on the output folder here, find yourself some sort of, or make yourself an empty folder that'll just hold the keyframes. A lot of the sequencing programs need it, need them to be that by themselves. Click open and then click, make sure this says one to last and click start rendering animation images. If you want to beforehand, in fact, it's probably a good idea unless you really think you know you like what you're doing. You can use this preview section to create a smaller, lower quality preview video of what the final renders will look like in just a fraction of the time. This claims it can do it in about a minute and eight seconds for my 720 frames, but in reality, it always ends up taking a little longer than that. Definitely a good idea to try the preview before you do it. Well, I hope that answered a couple questions if you're starting out on Mandelbulb, and I'm gonna make some more videos soon.